What's up guys? So I got a video I'm doing for you guys today here on my computer because I was gonna do this outside. It's a little warm, but uh, weather was kind of nice, but damn it is windy out there. And even with a uh, <laughs> cover for my microphone, it was still too windy. It was gonna be bad audio. So we're just gonna do this here. We're gonna just, I'm, just, I'm gonna show you guys some of the articles that I referenced, was planned to reference in the video. And we're just gonna go through it like this. Cause I wanna talk about something uh, in Vegas, a growing trend that is taking place with businesses and also in the public sector. So you're gonna see this is private and public sector now where people are being required to be vaccinated to go to certain places. And I have this article up here because this was the first place that I remember hearing about uh, was this art gallery here in town that did this. And the owner of the art gallery is actually a doctor who, um, you go right here, that put in this policy of you know, wanting to see your COVID-19 vaccination record card or, you know, passport or vaccine papers, whatever term you want to use. This was the first place that I can remember doing this. And I was wondering if this was going to catch on here in Vegas, if the casinos might ever do this, but uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. So it happened here is where I remember first seeing it. A big one was with the Raiders. If you guys don't know, at Allegiant Stadium, Las Vegas Raiders require proof of COVID-19 vaccination for game for home games. And they're using this um, Clears Health Pass for proof of vaccination. So they have a uh, app that they're using. But they actually are the uh, first team in the NFL to require people attending to be vaccinated. So that's, you know, really a big step for the uh, National Football League to put in something like that. And a lot of it came from uh, like this quote you're going to see right here between like owner Mark Davis and Governor Sisolak. This, this art or this paragraph right here is uh, pretty important because it talks about the new emergency directive from Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak regarding large events. And it says, health and safety has always been our number one priority, said Raiders owner Mark Davis. After consultation with Governor Sisolak and other community leaders, this policy ensures that we will be able to operate at full capacity without masks for fully vaccinated fans for the entire season, Davis explained. And they actually will let you get vaccinated on site prior to the game and they will permit newly vaccinated fans to enter wearing a mask so that's what they have going on right now because this has really been a growing trend and this is this article right here from the las vegas sun talks about the same thing saying how this has just been really spreading more and more uh, across nevada so you know and it talks here about more places that are requiring people to have um been vaccinated if you want to partake in something that's really seems like what's going to wind up happening is so many places are just going to say that you know they want you to be vaccinated that um you know it's going to just be really inconvenient if you're not vaccinated to go do some of these things so the raiders were the first team to do it um it also talks here about some other events like uh the consumer technology Sh consumer technology association ces show which is like in terms of numbers, one of the biggest conferences every year for Las Vegas is at the beginning of every year in January. And um, National Association of Broadcasters, another huge show, NAB, that they would require vaccination for entry. So, you know, also Life is Beautiful is doing the same thing. So live music events uh, were doing the same thing, requiring vaccinations, requiring people to be vaccinated. Also, some of the casinos and businesses here like MGM, they've enforced mandatory vaccination policy for some employees, not for all. I think they were still working out some stuff with unions, but um, this, is where, this is where it says, you know, all salaried employees who do not exclusively work from home, they're required to be fully vaccinated by October 15th. All new hires, again, who do not work exclusively from home uh, must provide proof of vaccination against COVID-19 before beginning work on August 30th. So, you know, it talks about the testing policy, how they can pay a $15 copay for um, testing on site or just get a test somewhere else. It talks about incentive programs where they've given away prizes and show tickets and things like that to employees to try to get them vaccinated. It talks about education campaign called Get the Facts About the Vax, uh, is what MGM has been doing. And that also leads over to when you think of here in, the, in um, UNLV, because this is something that just happened. So parents and students react to vaccination requirement for Nevada college students. So this is something that just, again, happened recently as well. 
It says the board, the Nevada Board of Health has approved COVID-19 vaccination requirements for college and university students. So it takes effect. This is going to be for the spring semester. Now, this applies to all the colleges and universities in the state of Nevada. Northern Nevada, Southern Nevada, doesn't matter. Um, it applies to all of them. So this is something that, you know, has people, some students obviously were very supportive of it. Some were obviously very upset about it. And, you know, like this is one of the quotes down here. It says, uh, this person is, you know, about trying, feeling that they're being forced to get a vaccine and that, you know, their education may be forfeited to finish a college degree next semester because, you know, uh, she, this woman doesn't want to put this in her body. So, which really, in some places, kind of brings up an issue of legality is that, you know, because if it is your body, you're going to be ultimately deciding what goes into it. You're going to be choosing what goes into your body. So, you know, the fact that it's your choice of what to put into your body, you know, brings up the question of, well, can you be forced to put a certain substance in your body and then can you be forced to prove it at certain places? Because, I mean, with private property, um, you know, you have issues with private property rights of, say, businesses who only want people in there who are vaccinated, but also an issue of um, maybe someone's personal medical privacy. And, you know, how much does a business or does a public or private establishment need to know about your medical history? So that's one of the real, I mean, that's a big clash with this whole issue with, you know, certain places saying, hey, you need to be vaccinated uh, to come in here. And speaking of which, some of you may have seen this article from the points guy talked about how Harris became the first casino to require vaccines and it asked, could Vegas be next? Well, they became the first casino in the country um, to require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test to enter. So this came from the CDC gaming reports. The casino is owned and operated by Caesars, which as you guys know, Caesars also has a large footprint here in Las Vegas. Now, none of the Vegas casinos have done anything like this, but this was something that did happen down in New Orleans because the mayor announced a new vaccine requirement for many indoor activities starting August 16th that includes indoor dining and bars and other indoor entertainment. You will need to provide proof of vaccination or a negative test if you are 12 or older for any activities the city deems as having a quote unquote high transmission risk. So that's what happened in New Orleans here in Vegas. Could the casinos do the same thing? Uh, it's certainly a possibility. But, you know, one thing with them is none of them are probably going to want to be the lab rats. None of them are probably going to want to be the guinea pig to try this out and see how big the backlash is if they were to do something like this. Uh, MGM is the biggest one in the state. They're the biggest operator. Caesars is the next biggest. So, and the fact that Harris is a Caesars property, you know, may lead people to think that Caesars might do it first if they were going to, or maybe MGM would because they're so big. But then again, because they're so big, it also means if the backlash is big, it's going to be compounded for them um, versus, you know, say like just Tropicana or some place like that on the strip just decided to do it um, on their own with only one property here. So I don't know what's going to happen with the casinos here in Vegas. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they wind up doing and if they decide to go that route. And really just as far as casinos, really just for Nevada in general, because one of the tactics that businesses can have and definitely governments have is if they want you to do something or don't want you to do something, uh, they can just basically, and they can't make it complete and they can't make it illegal, right? They don't have any, they can't, you know, stop you. Um, you know, they can't infringe on your rights to stop you from doing it. One thing that governments can do is make something difficult to do. So like, you know, uh, if you guys remember recently, Mayor Carolyn Goodman was trying to encourage California to expand uh, I-15 coming here from SoCal from uh, two lanes to three lanes. That's like, yeah, California is not going to do that because what does California see when people go to Vegas? They're going to Vegas and spending money in Nevada. They want them in California, wants them to spend money in California. So California is not going anytime soon to be expanding it to three lanes. So they just make it difficult for people to go to Nevada because they want them to stay in California. So that's something that um, really you see taking place right now where it's like if you want to be in school at UNLV, well, any state school in Nevada, you need to be vaccinated. If you want to come to a Raiders game, they're saying you got to be vaccinated. So basically it's a strategy of making it difficult to live and do things that you may want to do unless you have this vaccine. So tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comments section. Um, 
This is not my favorite way to do this video, but it works. So I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys being so awesome. Please hit the thumbs up button regardless of how you feel about it. And tell me what you think in the comments. 